Good evening. Everybody hear me okay? Um, fantastic. Well, thank you all for very much for joining us. I want to extend a thank you to the Maryland Corporate Council, uh, Capital Area Gaming with the Chamber of Commerce, and Discovery Communications. Um, I used to work here, so I'm very, very proud of that. Um, I want to introduce the topic of tonight, um, encouraging LGBT corporate professionals to innovate with 21st century technology. The LGBT Technology Partnership really focuses on um, advocacy for LGBT communities around technology. Um, we add the voice uh, when it comes to government agencies, both at the federal, state, and local levels, um, making sure that LGBT uh, considerations are taken into account when uh, forming policies, or crafting uh, regulations that may pertain to technology. So we're very proud to be here, and very proud to have my panelists here. I do want to point out quickly before I have the panelists introduce themselves, um, we are using hashtag LGBT Tech, um, and please feel free to include any of the handles um, which are on here on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and, and have uh, the panel introduce themselves. We'll start with, uh, with Bill Kirst from IBM. Thanks, Chris. Um, my name is Bill Kirst. As Chris mentioned, I'm with IBM. Been there about um, eight and a half years. I'm a, an organizational change management consultant. A lot of people ask, what is change management? Um, essentially, I work with people in corporations and in, uh, in the government space and state and local to help them sort of manage any change that happens in their day to day. So that can be a new technology, which we'll probably talk a lot about tonight. It can be a policy change, it can be a work location change. Um, and, and so I really enjoy my job. Specifically now, I focus on an area we call social business. So it's taking the power of social media and uh, applying it inside the workforce. And you watch some pretty amazing things happen. Um, but of course, it takes the right strategy, the right culture, um, and some of the stuff that's not possible. So I'm very excited to be here. Uh, it's my first, uh, my first event. Um, but I met these two bookend gentlemen at a conference at Google in New York uh, probably a couple months ago. Um, we were the first three to show up on time for registration. The doors at Google were still locked. I'm not sure what that was about. Um, but we were very, very eager to be there, and we've been friends ever since. So thanks for inviting me. Larry Crenshaw from at and Good evening. Um, my name is Larry Crenshaw, and I am the Director of Strategic Messaging for at and um, My office is located here in Washington, D.C. Uh, I reported to our external affairs organization, and so a significant amount of that I do is in direct relations to educating public policymakers, the FCC, the administration, and third party organizations on how AT&T is, uh, is uh, contributing to uh, innovation and technology. Uh, my job uh, specifically is to serve as the liaison between AT&T uh, labs, uh, where a significant number of our inventions come from and our patents uh, and at and product houses and to really take what is being developed by uh, these scientists and engineers and be able to put them in layman's terms and create use cases that illustrate how they will impact citizens and our business um, customers. So, um, you know, I'm excited to be here. I, you know, met these two gentlemen uh, at an event that was held at my center and um, and they when they invited me to, to be a member of the panel, I was very excited. So, yeah. Joe Cap. Um, my name is Joe Cap. I am one of the past presidents of the Capital Area Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. Um, it's great to see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, for those who know me, they probably know me in a different capacity um, as a financial advisor. Uh, but prior to that, I was actually in technology for about ten years before focusing on technology, so I'm actually excited to be back, uh, sort of melding a couple of different roles. With Chris, we formed the LGBT Technology Partnership to focus on the intersection between LGBT communities around the United States and technology and the impact uh, that technology is having, um, both sort of where we've come from, but also uh, where it's headed, and how technology is utilized in the corporate workplace how as we, we as LGBT professionals have an opportunity to go ahead and utilize that technology and uh, work with corporations to, to push forward changes and innovations in helping them develop their products. So I'm really excited about the topic this evening. I'm also a, a professor of entrepreneurship um, and a serial entrepreneur, so this is a really exciting topic. 
economy. And I think for all those who are in the chamber thinking about business, expanding business, starting a business, um, and the opportunities that technology holds together. Guys and gentlemen, some questions. Um, there will be uh, an opportunity for Q and A at the end, so please uh, please be sure to keep your thoughts together, and we'll have that at the end.